Well, if it is me, once again, returning after like five months or something. Today I'm presenting one of my few ROM hacks I've made in the past. Well, a few in the sense of I've like made eight ROM hacks. I think it will be interesting to see how I have developed my 3D modeling skill and game development skill. We'll start with the oldest hack I've ever made. Super Mario 66. Why have I named it Super Mario 66? I have to be honest, I have no idea. This is currently the last released version that you can play right now. I wouldn't recommend playing this because this it's just it's just yeah, I don't like this. I've made no good decisions when I was making this back in 2017 or something. But yeah, the premise of the hack is just Super Mario 74, but it's all blue. I suppose. <laughs> you don't know how annoying this is. Anyway, I guess I will just go into the first level. Hot blue wood. This is not. Oh my god, this music is loud. This is just a level full of blue lava. Which did is just retouched grass. I don't know. This is just a very. Genius. This is just my first level I've ever made in a long life. And honestly, I wouldn't say it's, it's bad, aside from the jacky ass camera. But it's also not like good. I have heard. A few of the stars are like in ridiculous places, like. Check this out. <laughs> you literally have to be a chain. That's how you're supposed to get the star. If you can't do bear chase, then I have no idea what you're doing in this drama. Anyway, I should want to show the second level. Well, it says four of here, but it's Technical is the second level I've made. This is horrid. Like, actually horrid. How... How did I end up making this? Funny case. The drums here also sucks. I have no idea what I wanted to make with this. Oh, my God. I forgot that it's not one thing. You have one half. Which is just all grass, a few enemies, and the second half, which is all stone, and a few lava cubes, and. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> There's not much to this level, honestly. Yeah. Why did they do this? I have no idea what, what I wanted to achieve with this custom stuff box. Now one thing I do have to say is that this hub was not actually made by me. It was made by Podink, who is a, a contributor in the SM64 hacking community, I believe. I'm not sure if the description is correct. But yeah, he vouched uh, to make a hub for my ROM hack and honestly I want to pay him $100. <laughs> like, no, seriously, I, I can't believe I just got a hop for free and then I ruined it by placing lava everywhere and then just those random lazy flower patches which by the way the flower patches are solid they're solid this is not how it's supposed to make them and aside from that there's also a third level which hmm I will show it yes uh, just a few skips <clears throat> Level C1. I wonder what it could be. No! If you're like a ROM hacking veteran, then you probably recognize already what this is. If not, um, this is a. Hmm, an old uh, hub trash mate. And he published it to the SketchUp workshop. Well, not workshop, but like 
warehouse thing. And I just said, fuck it, I will just take it and then turn it into a level and this is what happened. And then there's this weird um, underwater cave thing. I was just use a turbo button. And what I have to say, I have no idea. There's a single song. And then there's the last level of this ROM act that was ever added in. Oh yeah, this door. No, no, why did I do it? I didn't say anything, god damn it. That's what I wanted to say. This door, um, it crashes the game. Anyway, I wanted to show the last level of this ROM act. Um, normally you need eight stars for this, but you can just do this. And also, everything is a wall pipe, not of a noble wall. It's just a modelless wall pipe. I'm such a genius. <sighs> Cringe. Anyway, this is a stupidly hard level in comparison to the other levels in the game so far. And it's just awful. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, it's awful. But in case, I felt that there is a nifty skip you can do at the start of the level, which will skip like uh, one fifth of it. Yeah, that's a lot of kind of fun. There are invisible walls, but you can clip through them. Anyway, this level is kind of unpopulated in terms of object. Oh no! Gaming. I'm not sure if I even added uh, enough objects here. Oh yeah, this part is really stupid. You have to jump in there. Don't read it. You have to jump from here into this box. And it's actually kind of precise. It's not like super much, but it's also not <laughs> very easy either. Okay, I can remade it. Now, the one thing I did kind of smart is the walls here are actually slopes. But also, that means you can actually build J on here, and if you do it right, you can actually go down below there. Also, I was a fan of invisible walls. Oh, invisible rooms, hidden rooms, whatever. Non solid walls, that's, that's what I want to say. There's also this not a star thing thing. It's super convincing, I know. I kind of want to show the last corridor, which is like a single hanging ceiling. I didn't know back then how to change the movement speed when you're on the ceiling, so it literally takes a minute to get from that one corridor until the pipe that takes you to the boss of fight. Also, the boss of fight is not special, it's just Normal, I guess. So that's the first ROM hack I have developed on. And there is a new version in working, however, I want to show that later in the video. Anyway, on to the next hack. From this point on, I really wanted to uh, participate in two super flips. ROM hacking in competition, and this is one of them. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to the right order when they were created uh, slash released, but yeah. This seems to be number 6. Um, I think I also made a ROM hack for the 4th competition? I'm not sure which one it was though. But yeah, the purpose of this ROM hack is simple. Get all the stars. If you lose all life, you will lose all stars. Quite a familiar picture, isn't it? The model for this hub is actually kind of decent. The UV is correct, it has a bit of a design, and it just, it just looks cool from this. Like this view is 
kinda cool. I'm actually kinda amazed how probably this is rendered because in because in Project 64 this is like obvious that there is something in between that you can get in. There used to be a star but they removed it for some reason. But well, there's also Toad down there with a pink coat. I have honestly no idea how I managed to give Toad a pink coat because I don't think it was an option back in the early versions of uh, ROM Manager. How do you get it to the simple? simple. Waltz. You notice that every level you enter has a longer name. Each main level is taken from an upper hex and is a little bit extra than the normally. It's just a Mario 66. Honestly, I have no idea what I wanted to actually fit this extension. I think I was just lazy uh, making new levels. There was supposed to be a bubble fight, but this part felt is very small. I don't think it would be any enjoyable. And then there's just this weird ass wall. Things slide down. But it's not really great because SketchUp. I didn't know how to, how to make slides back then. So anyway, on to the second level. I guess what is Bowser in Hard Cube? This time it's a bit more lively and a tiny bit less cringe. But also, it's, I think it's a bit smaller even. I don't remember properly, but I think I did not remove that one corridor, so I can actually show it. But Lucky. Also, this is the only occurrence you get health in the level, I think. This was also not in the original. Oh my god, it's all slow. Oh, I think it would be weird to add like a puzzle like stage in a main ROM hack. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool, but also, why? Why would anyone want to play? Genius. Well, now I'm stuck here. Anyway, now we can actually show off what is supposed to be done here. We need to fall into this hole. It's not super difficult, but like, it's annoying. But let's see if I can do it. Okay, there we go. Go <gasps> I did not want to take an upper house. <laughs> anyway, um, here's pain and agony. You just have to, you just have to climb for like. This block. Honestly, I had worse memories of this fight. Anyway, uh... In this round, like, there's actually a custom-ish boss fight. With custom, I literally just meant that there is a custom area. <laughs> Nothing else. There's actually something cool... Well, cool about this fight. Also, Ignores walls. I honestly had no idea why I wanted to add this to the puzzle point, but yeah, the bombs are behind the walls. They're like way over here. Okay, where is the. Ah, three, two, one. There we go. Anyway, uh. I didn't have a concrete story, so the boss would just tell you. Ah, I don't actually have any of the stars. And he will give you a key. That key is useless. But it will give you a chance to save your progress. I have one star, let's go. I will not save. And then there's the slide level, which Anyway, uh, this is the slide. Well, you could probably tell this level is um, 
not good. But it's, it's how the style goes. It's mostly TV. But it doesn't use like uh, the TV thing. Oh, where is it? Where am I? There am I. <laughs> so instead I will just use the secret round, which honestly is just wall jumping off an invisible ball. And also geometry. I have three stars and zero lives. I think I can do it. Wait, 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 no! I love my powers. And so I restart the hack with zero stars. I honestly wanted to show the final level, but I guess I cannot do it because I just want. I just want to spend the rest of my time with showing the other hacks for this video. On to the next hack. It's me, Mario. Welcome to SM64 One Star. Oh well, SM64 Astro. This hub looks familiar. <laughs> I'm not going, going to even lie. This is just straight up copied from SM64 Sapphire. Well, not copied, but like heavily inspired. I got this toad to guess on you into believing that it's not. And give us a star for no reason. And I was still figuring out how large each model was, so... Fake star door. <laughs> anyway, the premise of this hack is... Kinda simple, actually. You have to. You have two levels. And each level is connected to each other. And if you die in one of the levels, you will get sent back to the previous level. So if, if for example, you will die in the level, you actually get sent back uh, to the hub. By the way, the rest of the levels are not implemented at all. Like, I don't think I haven't even started uh, modeling double levels. Now to the level itself. It's kinda nice, it's just a bunch of random things, I guess. Honestly, this is a pretty short uh, level with like weird collision. Like you can just fall down here and get sent back here. I have no idea why I made such weird design choices. Like, why would I put the tree on here? In case if you're watching this video, I'm very sorry that I talked to you in German. That's what I get. One good thing about this hack is that um, collecting stars would not throw you out of the level. You will just stay in the level. Honestly, I don't feel like I collected one of coin star or the sign. <laughs> hmm. Very good star placement. Anyway, yeah, roughly at the end of the level, you would have to find an exit. And this is exit for the uh, for the first level, it's on top of here. And the text is broken as always. But yeah, with this free star though, you will get to the next level. That is, if I ever made the second level, then you would actually get you up here. Remember how I said that the secret slide from the previous hack was in the swamp hack? Yeah, I just hit it under the tree there. Why is there no music? I can vaguely remember there being music, but I guess. That's not the case here. Actually, now I will oh, try to complete the uh, slide. Uh, slide. Floating boxes. I think if I, if I made a slide hack, uh, I added this to the slide hack competition, I would just get negative reviews. Oh god. Good timing. Since I don't have anything else to show in this ROM hack, on to the next ROM hack. It's me, Mario. Welcome to SF64 Everdrive. Hello. This does not work with an Everdrive. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the new version uh, that I'm going to upload to romhacking.com includes a few quality of life improvements, so it's not the same. Uh, version that Superflips played. I cannot believe I actually submitted this. The textures are still off. What am I doing wrong? The premise of this hack. It's just one level. Purple battlefield. 
And guess what's purple? That's right, it's... <laughs> lava. This entire area. This entire purple area. All lava. Fortunately, there's a shell. And I broke that shell. You will burn a few times if you have no shell. I can guarantee you that. This competition was about reimagining Mario 64 levels. And how did I reimagine it? I wanted to give the level a kind of a flip side. So that happy levels become bad levels and bad levels become happy levels, I guess. And also the fact that uh, if I would have made the full version of, of the surround pack, it would be then that you would start at the very last level, so at the Bowser Free stage, and then, <laughs> and then this would be the last stage, I think. Anyway, this hack isn't actually super hard. Like, well, it's, it is super hard when you don't have a shell. <laughs> but yeah, aside from that, the fact that there's lava everywhere, this hack isn't really difficult. Like, you've King Bob you have 15 red coins. I guess that's the hard part. Uh, there's a tiny maze and our wing cap mission. And it clears a copy to quick race. Which actually wasn't present uh, when I when I first submitted this submitted the hack uh, to Superflips. But there's no Koopa. I mean, we all knew that was a possibility. I just don't understand. Who makes a hack and doesn't make sure all the stars work? Me! The reason behind that was simply because SSFX4 ROM Manager had cut up a bug where, I don't know, they would like skip every second trajectory for no reason in particular. And sometimes uh, Koopa the Quick would just spin around. I think it just gets stuck here. Fiber. But yeah, a few couple updates later. A few updates after the competition was over. A few updates later, they actually fixed it. So I decided to screw it. I'll just update the hack and then include a Cooper the Quick mission. Anyway, I will actually try getting all of the stars in this hack. The first mission is King Bubble. Do I want to read this? Ah, oh, what do we have here? You, intruding my island, stirring the beauty of this desolate land. Singing the boat, sir, aren't you? Alas, it shall not be used, for I am its last guardian. Oh my god, that's funny. But if it's a fight you desire, then so be it. Show your power to me. I actually used a bit of the um, SM64D com code to make King Bob -Bom a bit hard. Now, I should not say that this hack wasn't made with SM64D com. I just messed it around until I was able to copy some of its bytecode into the game itself. It wasn't hard to do, but it was janky. But it works! If King Bob will grab here and then throw you to this side, he will still be able to throw you off the island. So don't get grabbed by him. He's strong. I am vanquished. The power stars is yours. May your journey be fraught with challenges. Better thing than your audacity. Farewell, you. Bob. The screen check was also uh, done through the decompact. Well, was done with the help of the decom code. I was just changing a single line. Fifteen red coins. Fifteen. Zero. Good. Hello. I know what I'm doing. Some of the locations are stupid as hell. Also, this hole is probably the worst part of this run hack. Because this. Because this tunnel actually caused an invisible wall that I had to fix. And well, how did I fix that, you may ask? By simply stretching out this uh, ledge kind of platform. I have no idea why, but 
stretching that fixed it. Well, didn't really fix it, but it, but it made it so that it's not long an invisible wall, but like weird. It's better than an invisible wall. I can guarantee you that. I really don't know like half of the coins here, <laughs> even though I made this hack. But God damn. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please, let me in. Oh, oh this one. Not again. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm somehow fine. Nope. Okay, oh, this is it. Let's jump this out. Okay. That's all that. Finally, I get to show the part that probably made the most people annoyed. This room used to be on the same difficulty, but there was lava underneath it. So, if it would fall down, you would just die and have to redo the entire level again. And also, I added the fastest ceiling speed. So, you may be asking what will happen if, I, if you fall down there. Well, I actually intended to teleport you over, over where the heart is, but I didn't manage to do that, so instead we have this. It will just teleport you above the stage. It is not very intuitive, but this is the best I could get working without using like 20 objects or something. Why did I do this? Now the entire hack from here on out is easy. Almost easy. I think aside from the one of the coin star, uh, there's like only five minutes of gameplay left. <laughs> and yeah, this is the infamous uh, Cooper City. <laughs> well, uh, I was joking. This is just a tiny maze where you have to collect. Coins, I guess. As always, I added more coins than actually required. So I collected like four, I think. And now it starts counting probably. Fun! I have no idea why I copied the igloo into here. Oh yeah, this section used to be much more annoying with like floors you can fall through. And then you have to go back over there. And the corridor for those uh, fall through floors were tiny. So it was all glitchy and stuff, and it wasn't very fun. One thing I want to show... Uh, I never noticed before, but the collision here is kind of funky. I'm normally... Uh, For the eagle in specific, I think you would need the vanish cap to get the, um, to get this, and I didn't add the vanish cap in here. So instead, I made a signpost right over here that would tell you where the teleporters are, and the teleporter is uh, actually right here. And the camera sucks. So for the fourth star, you would actually need. The wing cap. Actually, no, you don't need it, but in case you want it, you have to go here. I will not collect it because there's a game in way of doing it. So, once you get in a cannon, you're supposed to get on top of the island, get the wing cap, and then fly to the side. But once you point to the side, you go up until the star is like at the edge of the cannon shot image. And if you do it just right, you will get the star easily. And now for the moment everyone has been waiting for 
the Koopa cool the Quick race. Funny thing about this Koopa cool the Quick race. As I was figuring out how how it can work with SM64D comp, I just decided, hey, let's make Koopa cool the Quick a tiny bit faster. Just a tiny bit faster. <laughs> But actually, I have to take this route, otherwise, you won't catch up with Cooper the Quick, I think. The Quick! He's already there! He's so fast. He's so fast. But fortunately, I am um, using skips. <laughs> Wait, can I still talk to him? Oh no, I don't think I can. Oh god. I didn't need to connect this on. I've shown off how the level. Uh, the mission works. Talk. Never mind. Alright, let's do it again. And this time we follow him. Okay, so if he goes there, into this tiny tunnel, and then goes around here to get on top of there. Turns around yet again, and it follows the normal path. I think I will be able to catch him up. Oh god, he is already out of my wheel! 61 seconds. I will probably have to fix it. Back again for sleep. I will continue with more ROM hacks. Moving on, we have Frost X. Honestly, this hack looks nice at first, but trust me, it's not. So we have the same hub from SM64 Everdrive, which I only mildly changed. The only difference in here is that the ceiling is now um, <laughs> clipped through. And for some reason there's a toad up here. <laughs> I have no idea why I did this. Anyway, this hack is loud. But also not very complete, <laughs> that's what I, what I wanted to say. The premise of his hack? Well, um, it was once again made for Super Flip's competition. Oops. And it was supposed to be Winter Fiend. Did I succeed in that? I am not sure. I really don't have much to say considering I gave up like a couple of days into this run hack. Like, I think there's only one star implemented. The underground cave is literally just the inversion of above. Above you have the platforms you can walk on, and now the platforms above act as walls in here. I'm not a good room hacker if, I, if the walls are just like this. This only started as implemented if I remember correctly. It's a normal regular fight and there's an invisible wall. And once again I was fiddling around with UV mapping and guess it's good. Look at that, the game wall. Um. Well, came to star is impossible anyway because I forgot to change star position. I don't have much else to show in this hack, honestly. Um, aside from this unfinished novel. I wanted to, this to be kind of a, like a house that I can explore from the inside, but I didn't get very far into it, and so I didn't get also far with the with implementing the music. I don't think I have to say what it is. On to the next hack. It's me, Mario. Twenty twenty one, baby. This is. Once again, another competition hack. And for once I gave way too much effort into everything except for the main level itself. This hub looks kinda cool. This is the first mm, custom object I've ever made, which is just a remodel of the boo after a very, very specific uh, enemy. Well, not enemy, but like, it's a cameo, funny cameo. And also I figured out how to export models, so I can actually make perfectly sized uh, fittings for each outlet. I love UV mapping. As I was saying, um, this 
this entire hack was pretty much pushed to the end of the month, like right around where the competition submission ends. And thus I only had like six hours to make the level. Well, guess what? I just gave up immediately, like an hour in. This was supposed to be like a remake of um, FC64 Star Road uh, music level, but I didn't get to remake it. I didn't have the ideas. I actually wanted to make a city, I wanted to make sub areas, and I didn't do any of that. All because I decided to postpone my work literally to the last day. And also, please. Do not be like me and decide that tilting models is like a cool idea. It is a cool idea, but you have to expect invisible walls. So point in case, um, there's an invisible wall because the game is getting confused uh, with Mario being at the bottom instead of at the top. So please avoid what I was trying to do. This is a 45 degree wall. And this is just cool, isn't it? Uh, the snowball was actually supposed to be here. <laughs> I have no idea why it's over there now. And yeah, this is the only star in the hack. Here we go! There's another star, which was supposed to be the slide. Um, I didn't put it in the level yet, but I put a hidden warp in here. Welcome to the slide! The bubble of the floor is very slippery. You can probably notice a theme where I really like the color of purple. <laughs> you have to do this in 30 seconds. Doesn't sound bad? Watch. Okay, well, it isn't super bad, actually. Never mind. I think I still have, like, a task recording. But I have no idea where the hell I put it. Actually, I forgot that this slide is 30 seconds long. Uh, <laughs> Wait, did I say a slide? This is, like... Half slide, half parkour. I have no idea what it tried doing. Other than that, the slide looks actually kind of nice. Let's just say kind of, because I don't think it's my best work yet. And if it was, then... I somehow got 22 seconds uh, previously. I have no idea how he did that. Anyway, yeah, that's the entire hack. I'm not sure if I will continue it, because... The theme I had in mind is still very cool, just... I just need the motivation to work on it again. On to the next hack. Oh look, it's Super Mario 66 once again. <laughs> this time, however, it is a bit... bit different. Welcome to the new version of Super Mario 66. This time I... Actually, I was way more careful with how I designed the levels, designed the hub, and just the overall theme of the hack. I don't have quite an idea yet how I'm supposed to make the story, but I have a few notes. Also, finally, I fixed the thing. The only thing I wasn't super sure about is uh, how I want to theme the levels after. Sure, I could be unique, but... Mm -hmm. Getting ideas is hard, but yeah. Chico's was literally just a test kind of thing. Y you always know it's a test level if that is screen music is playing. Other than that, it was just me trying to get back into 3D modeling. And I still used SketchUp back then. Nowadays I use Blender because I actually learned how to use it. But yeah. Can I make the show? I can. Blend. Come on! <laughs> I was so close. Here we go. Oh wow, it actually crashes the game. I'm such a genius. Anyway, the second course is. Subterranean Cavern. Hmm. Oh, yeah! This is one of the complete ish levels. Uh, that I have made for the sack. But yeah, I tried to make a kind of a mini level here. It's not super big, and it, I think it only has three stars. We've got some interesting level design, I guess. You've got red coins that are kind of hard, just kind of, not really. 
and there's this gate that you have to slide down here and then reach it. Honestly, one issue that I never figured out is that some of the UV mappings are off by like one pixel. I have no idea why this happens and it honestly annoys me. I'm not sure if this is like an issue with the SM64 ROM manager tool. Because in Blender and SketchUp this looks absolutely fine. But what's important the, the UEs are just a tiny bit off. Anyway, I'm going for the 8 red, red coin star. One thing I also couldn't figure out is why this is happening. For now, there's a 50 coin star, but not a 100 coin star. No way. Underground Cooper. No! Huh. There's also a 6 coin star, I guess? I'm sure if I. This is something I have to. Had to modify of the game that just lets you put less coins and it will just work. Anyway, secret and subtle is also hard. hard. It's like. You just need 10 seconds <laughs> to get there. I forgot to tell, but uh, the subterranean cavern level is actually inspired from a I want to beat the guy uh, level. But it wasn't in the actual main game, it was in the I want to make her uh, community levels. And I just thought, hey, I really like this theme, so I thought of recreating that kind of theme. one of the things I've considered after the release of the SM64 decompilation was to remake, well not really remake, but like I want Super Mario 66 to be on the decomp base. I've yet to probably learn how the decomp uh, really works because some of the things are like really confusing. Okay, making a marble in Blender? All fine. Adding objects and such to the level? In Blender itself, really confusing. Honestly, Decop is quite a bit harder to work with than Ram Manager. Ah, this level. Uh, the skybox is wrong, but I was too lazy to change it. This level kind of came in a dream. It's not exactly models like half the dream, but uh, yeah, it's close enough, I guess. Giant dream. There isn't much to this level yet, and I'm not sure even if I want to keep it because it's just it's just a circle. Anyway, the main route is just to climb this tree, I guess. It wasn't supposed to be a short level, but. Considering the dream, I just felt like making it anyway. Anyway, yeah, um, I have no idea what else I wanted to add to the level, so I just added the one fight. Funny thing is that um, this level overrode uh, Worm's Fortress. And I didn't actually change the star location, so it was like kind of convenient. Here we go. Anyway, let's check out the f the boss level. It's not supposed to be in the house. Like I had an idea to make a house be unlockable, and then you had a cannon in like the chimney, I think, that will send you to other levels. Although I don't have much of an idea what else I would then do with the... Shut up. But then I would have no idea what else I would do with this area. I will remove the door, but uh, yeah, I have no idea what else I would include in here. Maybe a secret or something. Or maybe if I make this slippery, 
then it could be a secret. Hmm, good idea. Welcome to uh, Killing Bubble in a Volcano. I guess this is a volcano. <laughs> I don't have much of an idea what I wanted to make of this level. Ever since I submitted a bug report that double sided walls weren't functioning properly, they got fixed in an update and I tried making this level then with the idea to use double sided walls. Although walls only have collision from one side, so you can actually. Yeah, that was my attempt at making transparent walls, but I didn't get it to work. And once again, we'll see the return of the funny ring. Well, this time it's even funnier. Anyway, yeah, there's unfortunately not much else in the level for now. Maybe I'll do something else instead. Anyway, that's it for this hack. Uh, there's one last hack. It's me, Mario! I didn't change the title screen again. This is Super Mario 64, The Moonstone. This is supposed to be a mini hack with like 20 or 30 stars that is kind of inspired of SMP64 Sapphire. Once again. The first level actually has 7 stars. It's called Green Hole. I will get all of the stars in a hack. Clear out the boxes. One thing I made use of in this hack is some of the castle objects that were made by the community for binary hacking. There were like custom objects you could get through SM64 Realm Manager and they just functioned to an instant. But yeah, the first mission in this level is simple. You clear out the boxes. Oh yeah, this problem is fun. So you're probably looking for a couple stars, eh? Right, I'll open the cave. And just for you, give a sec. Da, 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 da. Nothing happens. It's like, no, no. I have no idea what happened to the camera, but it's kind of different. And it doesn't show like star. Maybe the star is too close to the camera. That's why. But I'm not sure. That's a full stop. In this mission, you spawn right at the front of the bottom. Bo bo they tell you that King Bob Womp has taken another star from the cave. I think I didn't actually read any of the dialogue I made. But yeah, you get on the island and I've. Ah, the good old plumber has repeated. Both tasked me to stop you from collecting any more of the stars. But we're present on this thing. You cannot progress. I'll make sure of that. Now that I have the power of one, one star. Just like in um, the update for SM64 Everdrive, I made King Bone a bit harder. It's still not very hard, but like this shy guy. Oh, nice me. Damn it! I'm about to crack down one CN. Honestly, I didn't have a hand up to defeat you. You always see how I'm gonna my moves. Just go get the rest of the stars around here. I don't want to deal with Bowser like anymore. Alakablam! Now in this mission you have to collect a grid coins, and you also get get access to the cave. So it would be funny if you kicked me right into the warp. This top area is kind of the cool, kind of the coolest thing I've done. Well, sort of. But in here you will have to collect five secrets, which is supposed to be for the next mission, but eh, whatever. Also, one thing I found out is that. If you do it just right, you could stun ads. But yeah, this hack is not really made to be hard, in a sense. It's just supposed to be a nice, small hack. I forgot. The premise of this hack was that it takes only a single day to model a level. Everything else, like object placement, uh, code and stuff, they can be done at any time. Also, unlike Super Mario 66, this has 100 coin stars. Just like in two of the other hacks, bang here is not a punishment, so I can actually fall off. And then I will get set back here. And even if I die into the main level, you will also get sent back. 
I think it was visible from the speed up. Now the fifth mission is just like the fourth mission, except you don't have to find secrets. You have to spook away rats. And the levels ever slightly changed to be darker, and it has a bunch of bats, I guess. I have no idea how to make this mission, like, not annoying, because sometimes the bats really don't want to come down. And the last star is probably the most disappointing star. As the mission implies, this is at the highest corner. the second level which has uh, a 30% completion. This level in particular is kind of small actually, but yeah. This level is cool. I kind of like it. Once again, the return of purple lava, now in form of a rock instead of actual lava. Nice explosion. In this mission, you basically just kill a bunch of boots. Oh, yeah, this, this is my favorite trick. I think I will make a Kai's version of this ROM hack and just make that jump mandatory. It's like so cool. Also, this ROM hack makes a bit more use of uh, custom coded stuff. For example, this roof is very slippery. Like, how slippery, you may ask? This slippery. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Killing single boos won't give a dialogue, but killing all the boos will. Very fast. Hi, big boo. Bye. I somehow want to make the build fight a bit harder. So instead of uh, using like fourth flame spawners, I could probably use something else. Also, I almost have one of the guys hanging on. One negative thing about this level is that it is surrounded by lava. Some of the enemies just die to an instant uh, once they are above the lava. Let me learn this spin drift. That's, a, that's what I need. They just die because they're all above lava. Here we go. Huh. Okay. The music just it's just gone. Huh. <sighs> I have no idea how to fix this. Here we go. Anyway, once you completed the first mission. The second mission will be to collect all red coins, but I will not do that. Instead, I will go into this pipe. Now, this pipe actually takes you to another level, so I actually put the sign down that tells you that it leads to a different course. If you're worried about your coins, don't go in. And guess what? This is a slide! <laughs> Once again! Now, this slide is actually kind of cool. The slide is pretty much a cap course. It has all caps. This is just two cap switches and one. The sign also tells you where to go. This pipe will take you back to the level. And this takes you back to the stop of the slide. Oh yeah, the reason that one roof was so slippery is because I had to mess with the code to make the slide uh, actually be a slide. Because this is not a, a steep slope, so I just screw around with the speed changes. Firstly, there we go. Here we go. Anyway, finally, the second mission of the level, which is uh, just collecting at reds. You just have to make sure that you don't touch lava that often. But yeah, unlike uh, SN64 Everdrive, you only get one shot. Oh. I almost crashed that little wall. This bottom is so funny. Nope! Is it behind this pipe? It is! Genius!
So that's all of the stars that are in this hack. Uh, it's a pipe, but that was actually just for debugging purposes. Nothing special. Nothing special. Yeah. I think it will move over to over two courses into the sub area. Or maybe it's not going to be sub area, but like, I don't know. I've made this room for a reason, and I don't remember the reason. So yeah, those were pretty much all of the hacks that I've made in the past. There are a few other ones, but I don't want to mention them because that's like only a single level or something. Stuff that has been sandboxed and many, many failures of uh, copying over decomp code. As before, I will actually upload most of the hacks as patch files if you are curious about beating some of the levels. However, I will not upload this hack just yet because this is like still a work in progress hack. Same goes for Super Mario 66, the remake version. That's all it for this video. Good timing. It's time for me to go. This is actually not the type of video I'm usually making, as I mostly just show up creations, such as lineouts of my not ATG files, rather make showcases of my work on this channel. If you enjoyed the video, however, then please leave a like and perhaps give up feedback in the comments. It will help me out to decide if this type of content is something people would watch on my main channel. In any case, have a nice day.